did it! Yay! <laughs> so we just landed, we are en route to go get our rental car. How long did you say it was going to take? It was supposed to take 25 minutes. And now it's going to take an hour and 13 minutes. And it's progressively getting worse. Yes. Welcome to LA. <laughs> Take one, I guess, of the vlog. Woo! How does one start a vlog I don't know. video? My name's Elijah Reeder. I'm Ariel Thomas. <laughs> and I'm Ryan Savage. Yeah. We're here in LA for an editorial trip for American Lifestyle Magazine and Start Healthy Magazine. We're all part of the video team and we all play different roles and the same roles. So while we're on this trip, uh, we're gonna interview uh, Liz Klimo. Um, she's an American cartoonist, animator, children's book author, and illustrator. Just happens to have been animating on The uh, Simpsons in various roles casual. since, um, Super casual. since <laughs> 2003. And then we're also going to um, interview uh, Spork Foods. It's uh, two sisters, um, Jenny and Heather, who have a vegan catering business and they also offer classes and they really do a lot to help um, kind of educate um, people around the world and businesses around the world on why veganism is really important from a um, kind of environmental perspective. Mm -hmm. I'm excited really to try uh, some more vegan food too. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not vegan, neither is Ariel, but yeah, Eli is. And um, he, he takes us to some vegan restaurants that I've never been steered wrong so far. Yeah. I've, <laughs> I'm on board the vegan train right now. Well, we did the thing. We did our first vlog interview. I know. Mm -hmm. See you guys in a bit. Bye! <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Okay, so we're currently en route to breakfast. Eli, where are we going for breakfast? So for breakfast, we're going to a establishment called Cafe Gratitude, which has a mixture of... Oh, man down. <laughs> Our camera just fell. Please pause. Cafe Gratitude, we're coming for you. This pancake meal was like the wholehearted, so when they delivered the plate to me, they said, you are wholehearted. Right? Yeah, and mine is nurtured, so they say like, you are nurtured. Yeah, exactly. And mine was, was pretty th clever. Mine was thrilled, which is very fitting, because I was thrilled when they brought this out to me. Right now, we're capturing B-roll and doing fake cooking. <laughs> or not fake, but <laughs> we're staging it. <laughs> <laughs> what are the underlying reasons for living a vegan lifestyle? So through food, we are honestly trying to save the planet. Meat tastes good. I used to eat meat. I know that it's delicious. Cheesecake tastes amazing. I know it's great. Now we have vegan versions of those things, right? So I'm not giving up cheesecake. I'm not giving up a hamburger. I'm just thinking about it a little bit differently in a way that honestly just feels better to me. Yeah, yeah, I strongly resonate with that. So we're currently, right now, we're dumping footage from the editorial that we just shot. That's what all of these lovely cards mm -hmm. are over here. Mm -hmm. Heather and Jenny, they're mm -hmm. just both so genuine and just really, really awesome people that are really passionate about what they do. They're so very good was, on camera. Yeah, and mm -hmm. they were phenomenal on camera. Their care, their passion, and their inspiration goes beyond the food into like, you know, the environmental impacts of veganism. Their, their whole personality, like they, I, can, I can't imagine those people being sad. No. They're just so happy to be together. It is pouring outside, and we're getting used to this, <laughs> I <guess. laughs> We're here in Liz Klimo's amazing little studio office. Ariel's setting up the camera. Ryan's over there with color. Liz is over there with her pup. This is the second time I'm filming this because I didn't press record on my camera and we're about to shoot the interview. You know, you talked a lot about your successes and the self-doubt that you had at first and just, you know, moving forward from that and seeing the progress you made from the 23-year-old on her birthday moving to LA and sleeping on her friend's floor to, you know, where you're at now. Like, what does that mean to you? I'm sort of happy that I went the route that I did because I feel like it kept me humble and it kept me sort of like connected to the importance of just not 
thinking you just got oh, I guess. I don't know. That was just another way to say anything. Love that. That's the best way to answer that question. That's it. Mm-hmm. So we just finished up with Liz Climo, or Clemo, right? Climo. Climo. You've been saying her name wrong, it's Climo. We got really, really lucky with the people that, you know, we did editorials on this trip. Like Liz's comics are so, they're so grounded and human and like just like witty and thoughtful. Yeah. And they just make you feel good. And she's conscious of that, you know, she wants people to, to feel good after they see her work and, and experience it. I think, think that's so important in the world. We're leaving LA. How do you feel, Ryan? Uh, tired. It's yeah, pretty me early. Too. We had to get up at 4 a.m. So. Yeah. It was a rough morning. Eli. Super sleepy. Super sleepy. We're all really sleepy. Hopefully, we can sleep on the plane.